Hey guys, it's Marcia with Marcia's Mind. Welcome back to my channel. What's on my mind today? How to deal with bad feelings. Stay tuned. So bad feelings. Okay, the only greatest force in the world is love. When you have bad feelings, that's just the absence of love. So don't really, you know, be bad feelings because, well, without bad feelings, you wouldn't know what it feels like to feel good. Another concept from The Power by Rhonda Byrne, my favorite book ever, is this chapter. It's on page 90 if you have that book. You can change anything in your life by how you feel. But in changing the way you feel, don't try to get rid of bad feelings because all that is is just a lack of love. Take, for instance, a glass of water. Just like this glass of water, it's half full, half empty. And no, this is not the analogy of are you a kind of half full, half empty, you know, cup guy and gal or whatever. But what this means is you can't wage war against the emptiness and call it bad names and expect to have it full, right? No, you replace it with love. So say this is your body and this is love and this is hate, ah, bad mood, bad mood. Well, you can't resist it because more is going to come or it's just, just going to stay that way, right? So just fill your body with love. Replace the bad with love. And therefore, you will feel better and you will have love. You can't change the water level in the glass by waging war on the emptiness and trying to rip out the emptiness. The emptiness goes by filling the glass with water. So, when you have bad feelings, you are empty of love. And so when you put love into yourself, the bad feelings are gone. If you have bad feelings and you're feeling bad about having the bad feelings, you're just going to make things worse because it grows. Because what you focus on and you resist grows. It'll also increase the negativity you're giving out. For example, today I was in a grouchy mood at work. For an instance, and I was thinking, wait a minute, let me change this around because I'm going to give that energy out and that's the kind of energy I'm going to get back on the phones. So I just thought about whatever made me happy. I thought about this, 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 boom. I mean, in 20 seconds, I was happier. Why? Because I filled it with love. I didn't wage war against the bad feelings. Go away, bad feelings. I didn't do that. So the idea is not to hate the bad feelings. The idea is to deliberately replace them with good feelings. When you resist bad feelings, they increase. What you resist persists. The more you resist anything in life, the more you bring it to you. Like. You know, Mother Teresa, she said, do not, don't invite me to a war rally. Invite me to a peace rally. Why? Because what you resist persists. If you're fighting a wage against war, you're focusing on it and you're resisting it. Well, you're not replacing it with love. There's a quote in this book somewhere and I love it so much. It's, um, hate is not conquered by hate. Hate is conquered by love. And I forgot who said it, but it's in this book. 